Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land against 90 plus mods, most of which are just incredibly deadly. It is mid game. Uh, we are uh, pretty solidly in the mid game and are trying to get to the plasma weapon tier. We already upgraded our armor and ever, ever since that happened, the game is just running so much more smoothly. It will become a problem soon-ish when the endgame monsters are going to show up, but until then I am enjoying every second of this run. Enjoy it as long as it lasts, is what they say. Um, and today we have a one of those missions which is very likely going to be a complete slaughter. Haven Assault, Amber Jester is uh, the name of the game. We're going to continue our idea of Double Grenadier just to deal with the massive amounts of armor currently. Russ is with us, Sonar is with us, Andros is with us and we're taking Shadow on a ride of his life in order to uh, get into that uh, retaliation mission. The last, I think, three-ish retaliation missions with Haven Assaults were a complete wash. We haven't uh, had a chance to, to rescue anyone. So let's see if I can do it better this time. Well, hello there. We landed and we landed on high ground. Meanwhile, XCOM has fully understood that I am only playing on high ground, so it no longer offers any other options. Interesting. So let me move to here just to check out what we're dealing with. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we've fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line. Good. And by the way, remember what I said about uh, uh, just incredible amounts of armor? Damn right. Four armor, four armor, three armor, five armor. Just for good measure, right? And of course, we can't explode the car. Hmm. Well. Well, 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 Saiken. What are you going to do? what we want to do is not pull the pack but essentially let them walk into us okay. uh, not bad to stand up here Perfect option would be to go with a kill zone. Unfortunately, we do not have that option yet. So just overwatch for now. Slicinator moves up. And you know, I mean, Euler can jump down here next turn and be in the right place at the right time for now. moving close but not too close all right thankfully we do have the ability to scout these guys and we're fighting against mutants again i really like the reworked mutants i think they look fantastic Good, well, Mutant Commander <clears throat> is slightly injured. <coughs> Let's see how the resistance operatives are doing. Apparently they can take 8 points of damage. And a new enemy approach is a Banshee. Hmm. 
doesn't really look like a banshee. A banshee is more of a ghost um, that can shout. You then need to make a fortitude save in order to not die. Wait, that's a different game, but anyways. Not sure what banshees should uh, look like here in XCOM. I'm okay with it. Looks a bit like a tree, uh, tree being. More berserkers. And see, here's the problem. This pack is now triggered and it will start just destroying all of uh, all of uh, the all of the potential uh, civilians that we could rescue. All right, straight up no bueno. I don't like the situation at all. I do have an idea what we can do. We certainly need some sort of explosives just to get to shred through the armor. That's why this is going to be ridiculous. Good. So, claimer it is. One of the two claymores. Could hit that, but don't want to do it yet. Instead, we're moving up. And this would explode and deal a fantastic amount of damage. Just shred everybody. It's a double explosion. Good setup. I like it. All right, Euler is per the usual, moves forward. What are we dealing with? Eight to 10 points of damage. Not enough to kill anyone. Okay, cool, no problem. No problemo, Euler, no problem. Let's begin starting to soften up uh, the mech, which is good. Euler capitalizes on it. There we go. Good job. Death from above. All right, advanced teamwork, number one. Let's mark and shred the mutum. <clears throat> Very important. Starting to hit the purifier. Euler continues with his rampage. What are we dealing with? Six points. Oh yeah, he can easily take that. The mutant remains a problem. Sonar moves up in order to take care of that problem. Oh, <laughs> nice hit. Good job, buddy. Mutant goes down. And you know what? Let's just chain shot <clears throat> and call it a day. <clears throat> Fantastic. High level X play is just so much fun if you just if you know how to use your abilities. 
It's a great option. We just chucked through a hundred hit points, potentially even more. Leave the dead where they fall. Commander, Advent is attacking all. They've got units in the AO. Now that's a problem. That's another problem. Berserker Prime. Oh no, I know what that means. Reactions. Oh boy, and that means a better advent is totally, uh, totally online. The moment that the primes are coming, it's a, it's becoming a problem. Okay, well, the resistance uh, folks have about 10 hit points. So whatever happened to them, and they are strong. Don't go for the Berserk, please. Yeah, you don't want to really do uh, Although, um, the Berserk Primes should not react to... To the resistance faction. They really shouldn't. I think uh, ABA had patched that out. Um, primes react on every single action, just like in, uh, just like a ruler would. But they had patched that out for the resistance operatives because it was too, just menacing to, uh, to see them get actions over and over and over again. That is an interesting move. One blue move, thanks to uh, greater speed, allows us to bypass everything. Nah, we don't want to do that, but yes, we would We would love to do this. Unfortunately, that is not a 100% chance of killing him. I don't like the odds. Okay, before we're, we're trying anything, let's first of all get in position, shall we? Alright, that's not great, but we can at least see the Banshee. Slicinator moves up. Let's get that Benchy down first and foremost. Okay, so overwatch shots do unfortunately not solve the problem with primes. Primes can still act even though you try to overwatch shoot them. They will get multiple actions in that case. Alright, that drone to the left is almost down. Good. Time to kill the Banshee. Thank you. Got 
Overwatch and Unfortunately, that's still full cover because he's standing behind the tree. Moving here so that we can flank him next turn and kill him. Well, the Berserks have just started to go to town. Second burst of Prime, I don't know how to go about that guy. That Berserk just receives an extra action and uses it to kill civilians. See, that's the problem here. Although we're pretty much curb stumping the aliens, Maybe short of the Prime Berserkers, but the others, right? They are still well equipped enough and just quick enough to kill all of uh, the Resistance folks. Nice. You killed a drone. Good job, buddy. No. Alright, time to kill that collector. Reload and let's give this guy burning on top of the poison because that will tick every turn. Eight points of damage. All right, should be good enough. We're reloading and this here will be death from above. One dead berserker prime. Let's grab some loot. Advanced hair trigger. Not bad. Uh, we could use some of those. Good. This here is going to be our scout. And... Let's double move, not waste any time. I want to be as quick over there as uh, possible because we're still theoretically having a chance. Although this year is making it more and more slim picking. Yeah, if we can't uh, prevent them from killing our resistance operatives, this is going to be a problem. Normal mutant has two armor now. All right, we're we can afford one more loss of life, and that's about it. Afterwards, we're done. We got a frost bomb that works well against the mutant. Okay, I'll go. Moving into full cover. Team working so that we at least have a shot. 
Come on, give the man at least a shot. That would be nice, but potentially too deadly for us. Getting rid of the assassin. Silent killer is our friend. Reload. Oh, 30%. 8% even. Wow. High cover. No, that's not going to work. But I can tell you what is going to work. Kill zone. Because when they move, they don't have cover. And moving they will. Good. Reload here. Oiler, come on. Meet you over here. I feel like sprinting over there, but it potentially is too little too late. It's one of those missions where the Berserker Prime misses. All right, keep it going. I will offer myself up as a target here. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is happening? So out of nowhere sprints a group of five, um, six enemies. Berserker Prime plus a couple of infectors. They are just feeling out the situation here. Yep. Holy crap. Guys, what is uh, what is wrong here? Euler still needs to push forward. But since we do have Salvo, the better players, soften them up. Ten points of damage, not quite. That could be one kill over there. Too dangerous to use it against these guys. We want that assassin to be gone. That's one option. Another one is getting rid of uh, the mutant here. Hmm. Let me think that through. I could have thrown that earlier. Well, that would be a good kill. Six to eight. Hmm. You know what? Let's set this guy up. Oh, not good. I was hoping for an actual hit.
good. Sonar charges forward. I need some frontline DPS now. Some good old frontline DPS. Thank you. Move to here, but fire start up prime. It's not like look like something I would love to fight. Could have thrown the claymore for a bit more action um, efficiency than use the explosion. That would have been plus one kill. I guess that works as well. Just to clean up the side, really. We need to take as many of uh, the enemy units off of the battlefield this turn. If we want to stay in the game and have a chance to survive here. Slicinator gets threat assessment. Just in case. And we're moving up. Good, we got that Berserk Prime there. Can't really kill him this turn, so the Frost Grenade would be super wasted. Could slightly fall back, trigger Overwatch, which misses thanks to our shield. And get at least that guy here. Alright. Care to explain? Oh, because I already fired uh, the shot. Never mind. That's that extra shot which I was hoping we could get. <clears throat> Moving back into full cover. Well, there you go. More enemies. Perfect. It was just getting uh, too boring with only 100 hit points here. Now we are exactly at the amount of enemies uh, that are allowed, to, uh, at the amount of civilians that are allowed to die, and we lost. Come on, Bradford, rub it in. Thank you. Thank you, Bradford. We are the hardest fighters of destiny. You know, I was really missing his little comment, his snarky way of saying civilian casualties are just too high. Sorry, Commander, you effed it up. Good, moving in. That's one option. That's another one. We'll keep our options open here, I guess. Okay, perfect. Reload, then. Poof. Mm. 
Next up, let's kill that drone with double strike. Miss. Come on. Good, good, good. Time for the Prime Berserk. Good time for that drone to die next. There we go, that's a nice crit. Good job. Overwatch misses. And time to teach that Berserk a lesson. Okay, he's poisoned and he should be dying soon. Good, the frost grenade really worked out well for us. Potentially melee attack with a mutant, I would guess so. No, no, that was smart. I like it. Luckily, we still have the shield going. Good time to end the Berserk. Nice, well done. Moving into full cover, we got to deal with a burst uh, with that other mutant as well. Good, Euler moves up. We need to shred and hopefully kill. Hundred percent. No, that's just 90% and although would be more damage, I rather want to do the 100% down to one hit point and also poisoned. Pretty safe to assume that the mutant is going to die. Phasing one takes a nice hit. Don't want to deal with the fire starter prime. Not yet. We got untouchable as well. Okay, cool. Which means we can be a bit more aggressive. All right, that's a blade storm. Oh no, blade storm triggers. Oh, I forgot about that. Untouchable. Okay, cool. Well, untouchable is gone. There's. There is the pain. Okay, luckily we got good armor, so we're still fine. Gotta be careful with Bladestorm and uh, the Primes, because that's a pretty secure uh, recipe for disaster. Wait, what? 
Down to one hit point. Mm. Good, we gotta deal with the Firestalker Berserker. That didn't work. Come on. Good. That worked like a charm. Now this here would kill two civilians and I don't want to be that kind of commander. Not during this run. Doesn't mean I'm always that commander, but I would feel bad. It would be the right uh, tactical decision, but no, not today. Good, here we go, dead eye. Give it to him. Nice little 15 points of damage. I like it. And maybe we're getting another faces one. Elsewise, we have saved four civilians, which still is a loss like I predicted, but we've done much, much better. The last time I think we only saved zero or one civilian. So what were the learnings? We got to move in really, really, really fast. Um, it was not even fast enough. And we have to be at least partially lucky to uh, let some of them miss. Problem again was half of the civilians died without me even having a chance to do anything about it. Because I was still on the first part of Haven Assault. And the second part has already triggered the entire enemy, uh, enemy group. So, yeah, Yellow Alert and Haven Assault, not a good combination. It's simply not working out well. The rest was okay. Also, the injuries that we've taken, I, I guess, okay. Good, we got an advanced hair trigger, a few rescued civilians. I would say we had rescued more than that but i guess doesn't matter now we just lost the north american continent and i need to research uh faces one soon because mimic beacons are awesome making contact 80 intel just down the drain. Good. Negative. Wait, wait, wait. Negative traits removed. Good. We have no further negative traits. Great. And wait, wait, wait again. Yes, please. We got quite a few bond uh, trainings that work out well. This time, Zirkim and Endors will upgrade their friendship. Getting to that next level. And soon, uh, with Dilly G, we will have the first corporal, uh, the first colonel in our group. I am sure you will oh boy, thank you. Thank you. Beam auto pistol, bow pups, beam pistol, plasma rifles, and we got an instant chrysalid autopsy that allows us to build hell weaves. Cool, love it. And storm gun inspired is great. Six days, saving some time, uh, but is super helpful. 
All right, now the moment of truth that we've all been waiting for. Plasma rifle squad upgrade. Bam. There we go. Uh, that is good as well, the pistol. Beam auto pistol is not that important. This here would be important, but 200 is quite uh, quite a hefty amount. Let's upgrade the Shadow Keeper because we're using that gun quite a lot. And we're down to one supply, which kind of brings me back to what I was saying earlier. We are really short on supplies and need more of them. Very quick move to the uh, black market, maybe selling unnecessary baggage and purchasing something with the intel that we got ourselves. Collector drone. Okay, 10 a piece. That seems oddly much for just that drone. Can be used for high thrown autopsy, cool. Chrysalid Broodmother. Uh, not sure, I don't know how valuable the, uh, they are. Hundred ninety. Okay. Well, we got a lot of uh, those rippers. And I think we can sell some of them. Game really doesn't like me uh, selling them. I think they are a decent um, a decent option for us. Just to get some cash and now with 260 cash what we can do, what can I do for you, Commander? is we could get the bullpup uh, skirmisher upgrade which would make the skirmisher a force to be reckoned with the other option is a beam pistol for all snipers i think we're going with the bullpup for now how many more days do we have uh, 11 and in six days we get storm gun no bullpup needs to wait storm guns more important and i think we could buy the storm gun with these with the amount of resource that we do have uh superior hair trigger great superior perception instant buy not even a question superior autoloader not bad but the only instant buys is superior expanded magazine and superior scope at this point I think the rest is okay let's just double check who gets the PCS um, the prime team all of them do have PCS's Anders does not uh, on the other hand, we have had success with our uh, with our grenadiers and giving them really that extra aim, right? So Slicinator here could benefit from plus 20 aim because we need to shred and if these guys are not hitting, then we do have a problem. But with enough to hit, that problem is off the table. So far, so good. Continuing to make contact. And we got advanced explosives off. We're going to use the bolt caster, potentially not. We're missing Ilarium cores now, which sucks.
Yeah. Okay. Well, just try to reclaim what they have taken from us, I suppose. Good, we got inside knowledge again, which is helpful because all weapon modifications are just a little bit better. And now we're continuing to build the radio relay and hopefully we can then expand further. Don't have enough intel because I was greedy and bought again. Couldn't help myself. But maybe we're getting some more now. So what are we dealing with? Dark Cloak. Let me look up what those uh, what those side uh, gigs are doing. Okay, so it says that Dark Cloak uh, means the psionic network has been strengthened to a point where they are uh, immune to physical damage, I think. Who they are and what that means, I don't know. But it cannot be good for us, uh, so Dark Cloak will be our will be our target. A very difficult mission also means we're fighting against the Assassin. <laughs> Don't like that. Praetorians are in there. Don't like that either. And then the game offers us a bit of a tease with the Bandit uh, Incursion. Wait, it says Dark Elder Raiders have been sighted in the area. Okay, and here it says Bandits and Praetorians. Not really sure if that question mark is uh, accurate. So I think we're fighting against Praetorians and uh, Bandits. And the Praetorians were super hardcore. So that'll be a problem. Let's finish this here real quick. And then we're actually moving down here. Setting course for the Mexican regional track. We would get an engineer, not that we need one more, but uh, we will still get one. Anyways, I'll get the team together, guys. You know the drill. If you have a side goal of making this channel uh, large, as large as the aliens have side goals of uh, researching stuff, then hit that like button. Uh, that uh, could be your side mission for today. Thank you so much and have a great evening. See you in two days. Bye-bye.